Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mr. Brownie here, and welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Scarlet. In the previous episode, I won the first battle between us. Um, yeah, we did a friendly link battle together, and I I didn't get I didn't roll the floor with him. It was a very competitive battle, and he was definitely I think I feel like a little outgunned compared to some of my two mons there. But yeah, it was a very good fight. Um, very entertaining, I feel like. So if you guys want to go check out those videos, um, his POV is going to be on his channel and mine's obviously on mine. But in the videos, we're kind of separated and we're kind of talking our own strategy. So be sure to p watch both of them so that you can kind of see what we're both thinking. If you want to pull up, a, pull them up on two screens so you kind of get a kind of get a little bit of back and forth there. So hopefully we're not talking over each other during those. But yeah, you kind of get like a little battle sequence hearing both of our sides during each attack but yeah in this episode we are planning on exploring the opposite side of the i think it's the opposite side of the providence here so i think we're going up to area three we were on area two i believe last time so yeah we are going to head up to the next gym up here but yeah what do you think about that pokemon battle last time that i beat you in might i add <laughs> oh we're gonna just you know, <laughs> rub some salt in the wound I mean, it's kind of one of the many things, like, when I thought about doing co-ops with, you know, people in our friend group, like, if he, if I ever needed a point to, like, give them, like, evidence, like, why we should do shit like this, it would be a battle like we had in that previous episode, because it was competitive, as much as I have all the knowledge in the world, you play, you play good, like, you didn't play horrible, I'm not, I mean... Like, yeah, you won, but, like, there's times where you win by the skin of your teeth, but, like, yeah. you you played smart. Like, which Hopefully it wasn't something... a landslide win, for sure. Yeah, no. No six O's. Probably not yet. Maybe happen eventually. <laughs> Probably not yet. I mean, we're, we're doing one after each badge. And if we do the DLCs, there's even going to be more of those. Like, so... Which, at this rate, I... is looking very promising. So yes. be sure to stay tuned for that because I am really enjoying myself playing this game. So, um, yeah, if there's ever, a, you know, evidence of, you know, how we can make it even, there's Exhibit A right there. But, um, like Mr. Brown said, we are going to be going towards the, I don't know why it's not popping up over here, South Province Area 3 because the next badge is the Stony Cliff Titan. We got a little surprise question mark over there too, so I'm hoping we'll be able to go check that out in this episode, kind of see what this is. Um, I yeah, don't know if we've I, talked I, about it in the previous episodes, but that is something that we've been looking at at least off screen. I know for sure, and I'm kind of excited to go figure out what it is finally. But I think you want might want to come back over here real quick, just so we'll take a little sneak peek around the corner here. See, might, you, those might be useful for you. Yeah, those are useful. Yeah. Well, whenever I. Whenever I get. <laughs> be useful and a small exp can so we're gonna go ahead and head towards the gate here all right so we got some more picnic stuff here yeah they really need a good nice little dinner after that win last episode i feel like yeah i need to eat my feelings away <laughs> and you know what is actually nice well i guess that'll be breaking the fourth wall we'll discuss it more later as long as i remember but apparently I have the memory of a goldfish, so I might not remember. Oh, fish guy. Oh, speaking of fish, right here. Wow. Yeah, so... Nuzlocke-wise on my end, um... We're gonna probably... We're probably gonna fucking roll everything. Like, I, I can't really sugarcoat it any... <laughs> I can't really put it any other way. Level 20, I just fought a level 11. Like... We're gonna roll. We're gonna roll shit. That's that's pretty much what's gonna happen here. Um, I ran into this bird here. I didn't want to run into him. Actually, that's a lie. I did want to run into him because I need to catch my first encounter in this route, and I'm gonna miss a stun score because I'm skilled like that. Oh, kind of going back to the the previous battle too. So there was a point where I was trying to use the move Screech on your Vespiquen. I don't know if you remember that. I don't. So the reason why I, I stun spored him, first of all, I've missed three stun spores on this fucking bird. <laughs> well, it is 75 accuracy. 
Not too accurate. 75. You could probably sit here and explore all the areas that I mentioned to you before we started recording in like five hours and may maybe maybe just maybe be done with actually exploring everything. Oh jeez. It you'll have you'll have some time. That's why I'm telling you, like if we just run straight there, you got all that time you can play the game by yourself. You don't need to wait for nothing. Just don't progress any further in the story. Yeah. That's be the hard part. Yeah, I, I probably won't be able to. Yeah, you won't you won't be able to. Okay, so rock let's, oh. let's talk let's talk this rock type here so rock is weak against what water grass deal so using my fairy guy is gonna Ground. be oh i accidentally ran into a pokemon i'm gonna catch it though sorry yeah the tinka tink yeah you'll be good because it got so, no yeah i feel like i should start leveling him up oh i just one shot it oops um oh, dude, he's a menace. He's a menace. I should I sh maybe I should switch it to the leader so it kind of gets some more XP. Like yeah, I could have sat, sat there and brought one of my legendaries, but again, what's what's the fun in that? Yeah, yeah. Especially because with the Wi-Fi battles, I want to do it like we have our set levels in the game. Right. Because I could do the normal Wi-Fi battle rules that I like to do, which sets everything to level fifty, but like mm -hmm. I think it adds a little bit more. Ooh, yikes, ouch. If we, if we play with the levels that we have. Because sure, maybe my evenly balanced team can't hang. And we saw that in the previous episode. It couldn't hang with... Oh, it almost did, though. That's the thing. It almost did. Like I said, if a couple things went differently, I definitely think you could have won that. Yeah, if I had... It, a couple of turns of luck with paralysis. I mean, it I don't think I, I don't think I got paralysis once. Like it no, stopped me. Not. No, you did not. That's what I'm saying. I got seven quick plop plops, but not a, <laughs> not a single paralysis. Twenty four. Take it or leave it. Alright. But um. Yeah, it really, it really could have went. Maybe if we could have went differently. But the, the reason why I was trying to paralyze your best equipment was like, all right, this thing's going to 100% outspeed me. But the thing <laughs> I sent out for a certain already outspeed me, I was like, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, well, then it'll be good if it gets fully paralyzed. And it never did. Well, I didn't one shot at this time. Igly buff. I'm not scared of you. You are a balloon in my eyes. A balloon. It really didn't die. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh okay. Alright, let's let's do a quick math le lesson here, guys. So Sing <laughs> Sing is a 55 accuracy. Alright, I just want I just wanna make that point clear. It's a coin flip. This Igly buff went for one sing and it landed it. Now let's go, let's go back about Three minutes ago when I was trying to catch that rookie. I was going for a 75 accuracy stun score and missed it three fucking times in a row. Hang over 300. So I love 300. Any, any time you look at accuracy in Pokemon and it's not if it's not a hundred, it's a coin flip. It's a coin flip, right? regardless. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say it. it's a coin flip. Because if it's a if it's not a hundred accuracy, then you might as well just forget about it. I'm confused. I'm not asleep. Hurt myself in confusion. Whose cornflakes did I shit in today? Come on, come on. <laughs> there we go. Now he snapped it out. I'm gonna get one HP back off of that. Delicious. Oh, ouch, that, that hurt. Okay, I got him, that hole. 
That's close. Does he have another one? Ooh, and there's a watchtower back there, which means I get another encounter. Epic. Epic. It's Mr. Krebs. God dang it, I keep running into things. You see the crab guy? I'm gonna cry next to you. Hang on, I caught something while I was waiting for you. Wherever he's at. We got Nackley over here. Kid in the grass. You know, with how dangerous they make Pokemon out to be, there are a lot of little <laughs> kids in the grass. <laughs> then again, as someone who works with children, they don't care. Benjamin. They would probably go and see the fucking crab guy and be like, I'm gonna go pet him. I'm gonna go pet him. <laughs> And just chops their hands off. <laughs> I'd not use this movie. I'm gonna try this one. Okay, I did a lot. How do you have a better grass type move than me? And I'm like almost double your level. Pitiful. Pitiful. <clears throat> Bonsai? That sounds good to me. Probably has sturdy, which means he's gonna live my hit, but whatever. Oh, he was gonna live my hit regardless, never mind. Banzai. He had a rock throw, but he missed. Ooh, uh, yikes. Got him. There's that. You gotta give me gold and hide in the tree over here. You wanna get that coin from him? Go, pick, go ahead and pick up that item. I ran into a Shinx. Is that a goat? Yes, sir. Is he's the goat? It's my goat! Also, sidebar. Um, whenever you see the watchtowers, you know how I mentioned how they have gimme tools that you can catch? Yeah. So, for you to get the coins, you don't have to catch every single one. You can knock them out. So the ones that mean? are in the chest that give you the 50 or so, you can knock them out and you'll still get the coins. What do you mean by knock them out? Like... Beat them in a battle. Beat them in a battle? They still give you coins. You don't have to catch them or anything. Nope. Oh. You don't need to. You don't need to catch them all. You know that's Pokemon's motto. Gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta catch them all. And then that. Uh, Ultra Ball. What do we got? What that's are we rocking here, Laura? What do we got? Vivian. Okay, I need to switch. <laughs> He's getting flashbacks. Yep. yep. Yep, another bug and flying type. My favorite! <laughs> and Pikachu is struggling here. Pikachu's about dead. The nice thing is, though, you should, you'll should you probably be able to evolve him rather early. Because you need a Thunderstone to evolve Pikachu. And I'm like, pretty sure in any of the areas that I mentioned that you're going to want to explore off screen, you'll find a Thunderstone. Mm. He put me to sleep. Come on, man. All right, thank God it was level 12. If it was like 20, I would have been shitting bricks. The fucking crab guy is inside of you. Is he? He wants me to catch him, man. I'm telling you. He really does. Uh, not, again, I'm curious to see what that breakout is over there. I right, put my guy to sleep. 
Get up! Get up! Get up! Wake up! I, I should anybody. just incinerate you, buddy. Get out of here. Get out of my face. I'm hey. sick of your ass. Yeah, I'm gonna knock him out. Two hundred. Oh heck yeah. Mitch Cave wants to learn roar. Katy Perry. No, no You're roar. Gonna hear me. No. Roar is bad. Gotcha. It's not a. It, I mean, I know there's a, moves that are not attacking moves that are good, but like that one has negative priority. It, right, as, right as I got out of the battle, uh, I encountered this thing. <laughs> yeah, he was literally right there. Oh, uh, he's getting caught now. What I like about this game is that it shows what's super effective and what isn't on certain things. Yeah. I, I I really like. I don't. I think if that wasn't in the game, I definitely wouldn't beat you. Because I really, I really wouldn't have known what to do. And that was something I started doing. No. Why? That's when should have started it. I'm pretty sure it was Sun and Moon that started it. And a lot of people were like, "Oh, that's that's dumb." That's just making the game easier, and it's like, yes, making a game easy for kids to understand. Yes. Yeah. You're 23 years old. Get a fucking game. <laughs> I don't know what's weak against this guy. No. Is Gimme Ghoul Ghost Steel? I mean, it's just Ghost. Golden Go is Ghost Steel. So this should not kill him. It did not kill him. Good. I can get this thing on and get another encounter to trade out. Because I would really, especially for the next battle episode that we have, would really love a team of five. But now that I'm saying it, probably isn't going to matter because I'm going to get something that's like level one. Or wait, maybe it will. Because I actually have no idea if this is going to be the last video we do in this recording session. This crab is a pain in my ass. Ah! I didn't catch the game. It's okay. Wow, the gimme ghoul got paralyzed and couldn't attack, but couldn't happen in the previous episode. Hey. I'm not bitter. Please. Well, it's tough. We got a crit capture. Let's go. 300 XP. Heck yeah. Uh, headbutt. Headbutt any good? It's a pretty good normal type move. Has Better a chance than... of flinching. Better than rock polish and rock throw and smackdown. Probably get rid of rock polish. You don't need it. I would say you would need it. Alright. Please, give me something. Give me something that is a typing I don't have. That is not level fucking 97. Like, just give, give me something decent. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not asking for much here. Hey, Siri. Pick a number between 1 and 63. Number 1. <laughs> Another paradox. Number 50 fucking 8. Can't use it. I mean, I can. Hey, I'm glad you're thinking about me, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> game, game wouldn't be fun if I used it. Oh, that guy over there on the wall? Are you talking there about he is. that guy? <laughs> oh, wait. This is the outbreak that I was talking about. The Tatsugiri. Oh, is it? Okay. On God? You probably want to catch one. What, this thing here? Yeah. I don't know. What is it? it looks like a fish. It's a, dragon, it's a dragon and water type. I'm trying to kind of eye and see if I... So, okay, so explain to me what the outbreaks are for the me and the lovely people watching. So essentially what an outbreak is, is that a certain species of Pokemon will spawn a lot in one area. And usually when those outbreaks happen, there's a good chance for to get a shiny version of said Pokemon. But the fact that this one is so special in the time that we're doing it is that you technically don't get Tatsugiri there until much 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 later in the game like within the last like two or three badges in the game 
and he's actually somewhat sexy. Um, for whatever reason, Game Freak was smoking crack and decided to make him a dragon and water type. So the fact that you get a dragon and water type this early on in the game is one of the many reasons why I think you should be catching him. So what you're telling me is I should use him? He would definitely be a good water type to have right now. Okay. Well, he's... He's struggle to catch. I was gonna say he's gonna not be easy. Yeah, he's definitely not easy. But um But I got him. I don't know who to get rid of. Wait, what where the hell are you going? Fent. What does Fent do? I think faint. Faint. Faint is a faint is a, a move that allows you to hit a target if it goes uh for protect. It's not really a good move, I'm being honest. I almost had a heart attack just now. I thought I just saw a shiny Tatsugiri. Did I take out the dog? Tatsugiri? I don't even remember what your team is. Well, Best I got the Green, Think Think, the Mass Shift, Pikachu, the little Master. salt in the rock. Oh, man. You want me to take out Pikachu, Pikachu, don't you? I would say Pikachu, <laughs> but Pikachu is like, he's your guy. I'll, th I'll take him out. Can't be the I guy mean, forever. I mean, realistically, I would rather have Pikachu than Vespiquen. Vespiquen's only good right now for the, the yeah. Wi-Fi battles that we do against each other. But... So how do you know if he's uh, shiny? Like, is he a different color? Um, yeah, um, he will be a pure white color. If he's pure white color. There's a ladder that goes down here. There's a ladder all over the place over here. It's boring again, sorry. Which is why I'm kind of looking around and seeing. And I'm pretty sure this is the last day, as of recording, this is the last day of the outbreak like this. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to kind of milk it for what I can. Like we're we're saying it'll be a noticeable white color. Like he'll be all white. A hundred percent. And you'll hear me okay. fucking yeah. scream like a fangirl if I find him. So what is the radius of this? Like, uh, is it just around this little p pillar here, the little rock? I think it's pretty <laughs> much there. I don't know if it's down below here. I don't, s I don't see any down there. I'm not seeing any. I think it's just this little area, yeah. Sounds like your Tinka Tink just juiced up on the He levels, so. juiced up quite a bit. He's almost, I think he's almost level 20 now. He was 13 when we started the episode. I can't wait for your reaction to this. Yeah, sweet. Got a goat. Oh, I almost one shot him. He just licked me. Ew. It stunned, it stunned me. That's not cool. You know you couldn't go for that. What'd you say? I may or may not be fighting the Titan right now. Alrighty. Yeah, man, I'm scared. Rock types hurt my team too. <laughs> well, did I pass him? Or did you go past this gym guy here? The trainer. Wherever, wherever you, where you saw him climb up the cliff. Oh, that's who it is? Oh, okay. Yep, the big ass crab. Big ass crab, gotcha. Gotta chase him up. Chase him up here first. Now, anybody who's over there, I'm just, I'm saving them for when I go on my big oh, well. expedition. I missed out on the memo, apparently. That's all good. Remember, we're playing at different paces of the place. Ease with ease. Boom, he's almost level 21. He's almost the same level as my crocodile now. 
So when you go and do your grinding course, definitely you're be done. All that you're definitely getting. That. Yeah. Where's this guy? Oh, I think I found him. Not the eyeballs. Ugh. Ugh. Him just looking at you like. I might be toast here. I struggled against the baby one. Oh, all my moves are super effective. I was nice. gonna say, if you have your, if you have the tinker, you're fine. Because I don't think he's gonna have out anything outside of normal and rock moves, <laughs> which you're gonna resist both. I did go ahead and paralyze him on my end. So. You finished him yet or no? No. Huh? Let's put it this way. There's that battle you have against him, and then there's another one. Another one, okay. There's a baby version. But he's not doing anything to my over here. Yeah, I about two shot him. He's running away! Where are you going? I ran yeah, away. He just used the move block. He got blocked on Twitter. That's crazy. Did I not got to chase him? Yeah, he just basically follow where he ran. And he's right down there. And jump on him. And then after you beat him, there's a little secret about... Oh, he opens the wall? Well, yes. But there's there's a there's another secret with him. Secret tunnel and begin eating something. God. Hey, Erwin's here. Irvin. Okay, not Arwen. Irvin. Erwin. Erwin. Arvin. 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 What fuck the name is? He's stronger with the herbs. Oh. Yeah, you think you're cool? Oh, it's like a double battle. Cool. Of half shell. What the heck? Whoa, that's sick. I did the Terra on my little... I think, I think it has like a little freaking hatchet on his head. That's cool. That's awesome. Yep, you got, oh, you got a steel Terra for him? That's good. Is that what that means? If he has the axe on his head, yeah, it's a steel Yeah. One. That's, that's a problem if I have to fight that thing. Now that I'm getting him leveled up. <laughs> yeah. Those grippers away, dude. <laughs> Boom, and he's done. You finish yours? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then he shrinks. Four hundred XP. Let's go. He earned. He's earned a new move. Sweet kiss. Mm, 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 mm. No, I'm kidding. Is it bad? Who's learning that? I think Tink. <laughs> yeah. No. Don't. Don't give it that. Now there's a cave. Secret tunnel. You're really gonna want to pay attention to the dialogue. I will just say that much. More herba. 
around before it comes back. Is this where we're stopping or we keep going? Uh, you gotta, you gotta finish the dialogue first. Okay. Dark in here. No way! Hey. Ooh, the weed. <laughs> Where's the weed at, man? <laughs> That's where I looked in the book. Yeah, dude. We found the herb. Why does he want me to taste it? What the heck? First cooking. What a badge. That's awesome. <laughs> Sweet. Second badge down. Let's go. Path of Legends. That sandwich. Ah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Almost done. Hi, Erwin. Arvin. Arvin, whatever his name is. I don't even know his name. That rat bastard. Imagine he's double crossing us. He's got some secrets. Uh-huh. Some secrets you will find out about. Hmm. I'll kick his ass. What? <laughs> Professor. Before you end your video, I have a secret to show you. How do you dash? I didn't read the tutorial. <laughs> you, press down on, you press down on the left stick. While you're moving. Oh yeah. Woo, fast as heck now. Oh, I want you to come over. You see that guy right there? Yep. See how I'm not encountering him? Yeah. 
Cause this this one's a little a little special guy. A little special guy, eh? Yeah, why don't you why don't you go ahead and press A on him? Special guy. All right. Gave me. Imagine. Now I want you to try to catch him. Did I hurt him first? Oh, you definitely should. Because you always gonna want to be able to catch him. Because especially like him, he's got a pretty low catch rate, so. All right, defense fell, attack, yeah, we we'll get it. Kill him. Oh, I got him. Three hundred XP. Is that so much? Now you'll see based on his level, and he's got a special thing you can do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is a cool episode. We got another badge done already. Um, so that's number two and we got a sick new upgrade for our little car here. Uh, it's not looking quite like his yet, but I'm sure eventually it will. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, and you know what, you know what the next episode is? Another gym battle or another battle between us. So yes, sir. Be sure to come back for that. Um, this one's going to be probably very different compared to what we just did. So um, be new and exciting, but now that I have my little think tank up a few levels and I'm assuming we're going to be grinding before we do that episode. So mm -hmm. we'll probably have some higher level stuff even for that. But yeah, stay tuned for that in the next episode. But yeah, thanks everyone so much for watching. Please be sure to go down below and like and subscribe on Tristan's videos. If you want to see his point of view with some different Pokemons and all that jazz. But yeah, subscribe here as well. Um, we got a bunch of videos getting posted and Pokemon is something new on the channel now. So yeah, show it some love. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.